frustrated as Tuesday night was obviously to not get the three points. From where you came in the season as manager, would you describe it as a successful season? Um, I think you have to analyse every season really and, and um, think about what the objectives were. I think when I was when I first came in, I, I think um, my discussions were around making sure that you know we consolidated in the league. And um, so, if you look in that context, I don't think we've ever really been looking over our shoulder at the bottom half of the table. It's um, or, you know the bottom sections of the table. So, um, yeah, I, I, for me, we want to win every game, and you can't win every game. You don't win every game. Nobody wins every game. It's um, but we want it to be competitive, and I think we've been competitive. So successful, you know. Um, we've had really good spells where we've won some consecutive games, and then we've had some difficult spells with probably too many draws and defeats. But um, but generally, yeah, it's it's gone okay. Um, I think most supporters, without speaking for the supporters, would have taken three games to go still in with a chance of making the playoffs so um, yeah and we'll just wait and see whether it finishes positively or negatively and, and if you get beat in the last three games you know is it a negative or is it just a frustration I don't know so um, I'll let other people decide that I'll just work with the team and try and get us to be competitive in every game. Just on that, given that you have such a young squad and all the injury problems you've had this season as well, to be even in a position where playoffs are still possible, that must make you, as the manager, very happy. You know what? I, I don't, I don't get overly happy or overly down. To be honest, I think uh, I, I think I, I create where I feel my own expectations are of the team. I think the team are, um, as long as I feel they're working hard and they are gelling together and you know every club if you've got 25 or 30 players or whatever it is you have you have issues with some of them you have different things to sort out and um, but generally they've been a really good group generally they work hard for each other generally they want to listen and want to learn and get better um, yeah and, and we have to try and continue that and if you can continue it you hope that next season we get more points than we get this season and we you know, if whatever we've got, I don't know what we've got now. Sixty-two. I'm not sure. Sixty-three. I don't know. But um, you'd hope that we'd, that we'd grow and get better next year, and you know, push on towards seventy points. And um, you know, let's hope we get seventy points this year. But um, I think just the growth mindset of the team is what's important. I don't sit here thinking, "Oh, I'm really happy. Haven't we all done a great job?" I, I feel we've got three games to go. We have to go and try and win them. And um, and then we can assess right at the end of the season of, of where we were, how many points we finished with, where we finished up in the table. Is it good enough for the football club? Is it acceptable this year? Um, what should we be striving for next year? All of that sort of stuff really comes into the equation. And just finally, obviously West Brom on Sunday, how do you assess their threat? West Brom are a really good team. I think you know the, we. I watched a bit of the game back, the home game against them. I think we don't think we played really well for maybe for an hour in that game and then they really showed how talented they were they put us under you know real pressure late on they got themselves a winner um, they've got some very very talented individuals some you know they took some of the best free transfers the league offered last year you know swift and, and um, uh, wallace so i think um, they're a really dangerous team. I, I've managed West Bromwich Albion and know the emotion and the passion of the, the place when it's going well. And um, I think you know, I was just reading on TV there that they're postponing their um, campaign or whatever they call it against the ownership. I think they'd be in support of the team trying to push for the playoffs. So. I think it'll be a, um, a really good game. I'm sure we will take an enormous number of people along to support us. And I know that when that stadium is near full, it's an amazing place to play football. As I've said, they've got some really, really talented individuals. I think we go there in a real positive mindset, though, knowing that um, we go into attack and be positive and aggressive and, and see if we can get the result that will keep our season ticking along. Thanks, Tony. Cheers.
Thank you, Tony. Um, Losing Danny for the rest of the season. So <laughs> Yeah, listen, it seems it's a pretty common theme for us, unfortunately, but um, we've seen to overcome most of the problems, I think. Um, you just, you know, you throw Danny Bath in with, with Adji Elisi and, um, and Dan Ballard, I think then all of a sudden you get the gravity of, of losing, you know, a proper central defender, really. It, um, I thought the other night. It was amazing, you know, we gave away way too many corners and free kicks the other night and yet it was his head that was heading them away, making first contact, flicking it away, getting rid of the danger really and it's going to be a huge loss to us, I think against the team who were either first or second on scoring from set plays this season in the league, West Brom, it's a, it's a huge loss but um, you know, as, I've, as I've sat here from day one really saying we have to find a way to do something different and we'll have a team and then we'll put the team out and we'll go and try and find a way to give West Brom some problems and um, deal with their threats. You mentioned day one, can, can you believe that you are two or three games ago in contention for the, the players still? You, you said you wanted to keep that going until the last day, but mm. from, from your first day here, was that a target? No, it wasn't the target. The target when I first came was to make sure that we, you know, we weren't right down the bottom scrapping and scraping and trying to stay out going back down to League One. It's, it's obviously when you come up from a division below, you know, whether that's League One or the Championship is a huge jump. I, I just having took Blackburn out of League One into the Championship, it is a huge jump. The teams are so much bigger and so much better coached and the players individually are so much better. It is a big, big jump. You know, as as any team who comes out of the championship and goes to the Premier League finds a huge jump as well of class and quality and speed and athleticism and just making better decisions with the ball on the pitch. So um, to to not ever really been wrapped up down the bottom end of the table is um, has been good for this group of players. I think they've grown into it. They bring some quality. They've scored some amazing goals. We've I think we've had you know enough good days for for the supporters to um, to have enjoyed the season. I hope, and, but I, like us, they'll be hoping that we get stronger and, and continue to grow. And next season can be another season with you know a, a greater aspiration to to push on. Has the championship changed a lot since you were at West Brom? Well, I was West Brom two thousand six. Um, and I went to West Brom. We were winning every week. To be honest, it's you know it was uh, we had Kevin Phillips scoring goals, hundreds of them. It's um, it was uh, it was good days, full stadiums, beating West, beating Wolverhampton Wanderers, the big derby in the Black Country. You know, just about every time. From my first game was it was a derby against Wolverhampton Wanderers, which we won three nil. It's uh, it's um, yeah, they were they were good days, but they. Good days here and more good days to come here, I'm sure. And um, but West Brom is a, is a big club with big expectations. With you know, without knowing highly salaried footballers with big expectation to get back to the Premier League as soon as as soon as they can.